This past week has been a bit busier than the last few, and we found ourselves in and out of the house running here and there for all sorts of things. This week, I was able to capture the boys making a homemade science experiment, having a Friday night camp out in the family room, and catching fireflies on a warm summer evening. I was also able to share a little behind the scenes glimpse at one of my two week Aldi shopping hauls, an unboxing of my first Misfit Market Box, my weekly meal plan for next week, and a little update on my current herbal studies. Enjoy friends and thanks for watching. So can you explain to me what you're doing? Well, um, this is olive oil, the, the yellow stuff, and the blue stuff is water. And um, since olive oil and water don't mix, Alka-Seltzer, I'll taste it. Very fizzy and very salty. <laughs> and it, um, it makes, it makes the, um, it makes the water fizz oh, up. That's cool. Like, like that. And, um, the water, the water shoots up in, up above the, um, uh, the Basically, it's a lava lamp. lamp. Yeah, it's it's kind of holding me in lava lamp. Um, it shoots up from the olive oil. It shoots up in the yeah. like volcano into the lava lamp, and then it falls back down like that. That's cool. Um, so the bubbles look green. green when they when they're blue and they mix yeah. with that yellow. That's they good. kind of look yeah. green. It's cool. I'm, I'm gonna put another one in. Is there, is there a flashlight? Whoa. There? Yeah. there was a flashlight. Yeah, we had a blue flashlight somewhere, didn't we? Where did it go? Uh -oh. Are you just breaking up the chunk and sticking it down in there? We need to break off two chunks. I'm actually gonna do this, and we're gonna let that fizz until we can go get a flashlight, which is around here somewhere. What do you need a flashlight for? Just to shine it underneath. It looks yeah. good. Ah. It looks Let's see. Flashlight, flashlight. Flash. Olive oil doesn't really transfer light, does it? No, it doesn't. But it should. What if you put it behind the... Put it behind while it's showing? Yeah, this maybe move the phone to the other side. I can see it a little bit. Oh, wow. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that looks yeah, better. I can kind of see that. Uh-huh. So, the, like, this. This. Here, I can hold it here. That's cool. Pretty neat. Well, that's what the alpha seltzer does. It's it's like it's not really it's, salt, but I tried it. It doesn't work. <laughs> it's, it's fizzy. It just like, goes up, mm -hmm. and then it comes back down. And do I hear hiss? Yeah, it's going mm -hmm. to explode. I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna slowly <laughs> open this up. Yeah, not on the counter. Sorry. Maybe put um, the rag around it, babe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So I just got back from an Aldi haul and I'll flip the camera pizza, around and show you pizza, all pizza, of the good stuff that I just pizza, got. Okay. Pizza, pizza, pizza. So I went to Aldi's and I got um, two weeks worth of groceries and I um, had to stop at Food City on the way home and grab a couple of things that Aldi's was out of because this is the end of the sale week and so a lot of things were gone. So I got some toilet paper. Um, which I, this is the first time I've actually been able to find toilet paper since all the Corona stuff's going on. Um, I got, like I said, two weeks worth of groceries. That's meat. And um, a lot of the other things I normally get. I didn't get many vegetables this time because I am getting my first Misfit Market box this week. Um, and I'll get one of those every two weeks and that includes um, some organic vegetables. So I'll just meal plan around that. Um, I did get some plants. They were on sale at Food City and um, I'm trying to think what else I got that wasn't part of our grocery budget. Just the plants, I think. Um, also, Food City had a really good sale on their grass-fed beef, so I stocked up on that a little bit too. Okay, so that's it for this week's grocery haul. Hey guys, so I just got my first Misfit Market box in. You can see there's the little box that came in. This is um, a subscription box that you get every single week filled with organic vegetables. This is my first week getting it and so I only ordered the small box. I think it comes with, I wanna say 22 pounds of fruits and vegetables um, and it's supposed to feed a family of four. So I just got the small one for this first box and then I'll probably get a larger one if I need to later. So. You can see there's um, some radish and some celery. We've got some cabbage and cucumber. And then we got some leaf lettuce right here and um, some fennel and butternut squash 
and some red potatoes for our vegetables. And then we got some limes, oranges, apples, and a mango for fruit. So I didn't buy too many uh, fruits and vegetables when I did my little Aldi haul this week for two weeks uh, because I knew I'd be getting this box and I'll get another one next week and I'm just gonna kind of work our vegetable side dishes around whatever comes in my box. All right, so this is fun. I am excited for the next one. We'll see how this goes and I may have to increase the box to uh, a larger one later on. Look at these two sweet babies. Kitty kitties. Molly James. Clipsy Pixie. <laughs> Actually, Eclipse does not have a middle name yet, so we have to come up with something cute for her. So stinking lazy. So it's Friday evening and the boys have had dinner and they are now being lazy bums and watching TV. Hey boys, what are you doing? Where's Judah? Is there a Judah in this pile of blankets? Oh, Judah, oh there yeah, he is. Yeah, I'm sure there is. <laughs> you all are so silly. <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna get in trouble. Alrighty. Say bye, boys. Bye. -bye. bye. <laughs> the only producer of antivenoms in Central America, Clodomiro, churns out 100,000 vials a year. Not just from the Verdelands, but other people's yeah. exporting the precious serum to countries around the world. A hundred year old practice, tiny amounts of them are injected into a horse. Not enough Hi, to hurt, buddy. but enough to stimulate the animal's natural Mommy uses. can't see a thing in here. Antibodies so are dark. produced and then extracted and purified, giving scientists their liquid gold and saving lives. One. I'm <laughs> 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 trying to find it where it to make it look Take yeah. two. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Oh, it's gonna, but I didn't see it. It finally is. How long did I'm it take you, Jay? It took me like a week. How long did it take you? It took it took me six days because because I got it on Sunday. You just Actually, rip off the eggs, yeah. put them in a frying pan. about actually about six weeks or six days because we will oh. fit. Wait, we must finish on, on, on Sunday alone. On Sunday alone. Sunday alone. Now destroy the whole thing. Okay, so Judah, oh. Judah, oh. are you gonna get some glue and cardboard and put it? On like your wall or whatever. Yeah, we we found um amortization thingy on the back of this puzzle piece. See, it says that it says a thousand pieces. Um, it's the same thing, but it's a bigger one. Pieces. So we thought this that thousand piece thing would really take up a whole table. So right now this one takes up one place. up. I don't know how much that is. Just do the about a fourth, maybe a bit less than a fourth. No. No, this is probably <laughs> she looks miserable, Uriah. Because this, she's like, why don't you put me down, please? <laughs> okay, so Dean is still over at his parents' house with the boys, and I decided to come over and get an early start on making breakfast for the week, planning out our meals for the week, and cleaning the house and doing a little bit of odds and ends before the boys get back. Um, so I got this little menu planner, grocery list, notes, kind of chalkboard thing off of Amazon and I'll put a link to it in the description box below. But it's a magnet and it goes on the fridge and it has like a dry erase board texture, although it looks like a chalkboard. And it came with the three pins at the top um, and they write on the dry erase chalkboard style pins. Anyway, um, so I have all of our lunches for the week in pink and then I have dinners for the week in blue. Um, and then I'll just add in any groceries that we run out of or any little notes that I need to put on the fridge later this week. So on Monday, we're having Sunday leftovers. So whatever we have left in the fridge from um, today or this past week, we'll have those tomorrow for lunch. We're gonna have zucchini soup and crackers for dinner. Then on Tuesday, we'll have egg salad sandwiches for lunch and Mexican chicken tacos and Mexican zucchini for dinner. We will have barbecue chicken salad for lunch on Wednesday and either pizza or leftovers for uh, dinner that night. Then on Thursday, we'll have nachos for lunch and then we'll have spaghetti and veggie and garlic bread for dinner. 
Friday we'll have leftovers, maybe. It depends on um, how much extra food we have from our dinner meals this week. Uh, but we usually have one meal where we can do leftovers. Um, and then for dinner, we will have a good Southern meal, beans, cabbage, cornbread, and sauerkraut. And then on Saturday, I'm not really sure what I'm doing for lunch. Dean's gonna be gone. He's helping my dad um, that day, so he'll be gone for lunch. So I don't know what the boys and I will do, um, but we are gonna have salmon, rice, and veggies for dinner. And then on Sunday, we are having some friends from church over and our whole family always gets together every, every Sunday. So we all do a big pitch and meal and I don't know what I'm bringing yet, so I've left that blank. So this is the meal plan for the week. And once I get through this week, I will be out of food. This um, will be probably my Aldi run next Monday. I'm not sure. I'm actually not sure what day I'm gonna go to Aldi, but I will go shopping for two weeks uh, towards the end of this week um, for the next two weeks. Yeah, so that's that. Ready to make breakfast for the week. And this is the recipe that I'm making. It's chai zucchini muffins. It's from the blog Live Simply. Um, I love Kristen's recipes and I use them quite a bit. And so I'm getting ready to start that and I'm also brewing up a batch of water kefir um, for the next couple of days. My sister-in-law bought me this pack of water kefir grains because mine bit the dust. And she bought it from Posy Mom. So I've looked up the directions and I have prepped my sugar and molasses. That's gonna be my mineral source for this first couple of batches, two or three. Anyway, so I am waiting on my water to boil and I'm gonna start working on these chai zucchini muffins. This is what the boys will eat this week. Um, they'll each have a little piece of, I'm not really gonna make muffins, I'm actually gonna do it in a casserole dish. Um, so they will have a little bit of the muffin bread and then they'll have some yogurt with it. So yeah, I think I'm gonna use these and I'm gonna make two large dishes of this stuff, kind of like zucchini bread. Um, and we'll see how that goes. Okay, so now my um, chai zucchini muffin batter is mixed up and I put it in my casserole dishes and I'm gonna bake it. The recipe says to bake for 25 to 28 minutes, but it's probably gonna take closer to 35 or 40 because these are all together in these casserole dishes and it's a little thick, so we'll see. So Sunday nights are for working on my herbal studies and here I am printing out all of the notes that I need and anatomy drawings for the GI system. So I've already done this in nursing school and I've already done this once for um, an herbal course which was at the intermediate level but this is at the clinical level so I'm sure a lot of this stuff will be a review but it's good to get a review and I am certain that I will learn a lot of new stuff also. Well, Mama, you can get a good picture of him in his jar. What are you guys doing? Collecting my little bugs. Yeah, yeah so many. <laughs> Did you get one, Ezra? Yes. Well, I got two. Oh, yeah. Look, they're flushing everywhere over there. Be gentle, please. Where are Judah and Isaiah? I think they're inside playing video games. Oh. Mm, it's such a warm night tonight. Let's see where Dad is at. Are you enjoying your... Enjoy what? <laughs> I said, are you enjoying your... Um, Father's Day gift. I can barely see you because it's so dark out here. This is perfect weather. When you hear the storm miles away and it's about to hit, that's the perfect time to see the weather. So it's really hard to see, but we have these two, um, what are they called? Bradford pear trees? And they're like the perfect distance 
and Dean wanted a hammock for, um, well, he had mentioned wanting a hammock, so I thought I would get him one for Father's Day, and these trees are the perfect place to put them. Anyway, can't really see it because it's too dark. Ezra, you're so tall. I'm, a, I'm a lightning, um, I'm local. You're the lightning I'm bug local. looker. You're on the lookout, huh? Well, I see him flashing around you. <laughs> I can see one! Watch out! Oh. Whoa, behind you! Whoa, behind you! Oh. All right, Ezra, Mama's gonna go. Can you say bye? Thanks so much for watching this week's video. Please subscribe to my channel and feel free to leave a comment below. See you in the next video. Take care.